welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is your love reading um, for anyone who's an Aries single, uh, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, or maybe you're spying on someone who has got Aries in their chart. Now, I would say if you are watching this and you want the most accurate reading without paying for one um, through the website, then I would watch my moon sign or my Venus sign, just because the moon sign really correlates to our emotional state. And, um, you know, love is so much of our emotions, and we make a lot of our love decisions based that way. Now, Let's just get started. So the first thing I'm going to look at for single Aries, sun, moon, or rising, or Venus, or if you're spying on an Aries, <laughs> is um, number one, how am I seeing myself this month in regards to love? Number two, how are other people seeing me? Um, what should I avoid this month? And then what can I increase, grow, um, do to attract love? And... Let's see um, what's working for me, what isn't working for me, lessons we're overcoming in regards to love so that we can attract that awesome, passionate love, and then our overall outcome in our love lives for the month of July. So single Aries, how do you see yourself this month? Very Aries, very confident, um, feeling in control. Now, the interesting thing, you know, tarot isn't gender specific. And so we've got the King of Wands here, which is saying, I've got more confidence than the Queen of Wands. Like, I'm really, really confident, but I might not be attracting as many people as, say, the Empress or the Queen of Wands would. Now, the Queen of Wands and the Empress are kind of like magnets, right? So this is other people viewing you. Um... As in control, exciting, adventurous, sexy, but they might not be telling you so much. Um, but you're feeling really, really good about yourself. And you're also looking backwards at the past and feeling confident that you're where you're supposed to be right now. So any relationships that might have ended, you're starting to see, okay, yeah, that was a shit relationship and now it's time to move on. So that's really good. How else are you seeing yourself this month? Well, in that context of looking path in at the past, right? You're looking at deception and lies and, um, you know, maybe even some fears of abandonment. And those might have been yours or they might have been your partners. But you're realizing, okay, these things hurt, right? Um, so whether you cheated on your partner and you learned a lesson in regards to that or whether they cheated on you or um, there just generally wasn't good communication or honesty, you're learning your lessons regarding that and kind of saying, okay, I'm single, moving on, and you're gaining confidence that that was the right decision, whether it was your decision or whether it was um, your ex's decision, whether that was in the recent or distant past, all of those things now um, are bringing you to where you are and making you feel confident in going after and attracting new and better love situations for you. Now, how are other people seeing you in the month of July? Whoa. And just so you know, it's not that I'm irresponsible or a klutz, I may be a little bit, um, but when cards jump out of the deck, it's that they need to be there. Like, they're so excited to tell you a message. So um, this is yours. And it's coming out in a challenge position saying that you're having, um, some of you might be having a difficult time getting to that place. It might be a process in the month of July, closing old doors so that you can walk through new ones, okay? Um, because the world is about completion and cycles. And it's saying if it's difficult to exit this cycle, then it will be difficult to offer or to receive new things coming in. Okay? We might not even attract them then this way. And so we've got to be really careful that we look at the past and then release it. Um, others might be afraid. You know, you might go on a few first dates or something and you may think that you're hitting it off and you're getting along, and maybe you are, but then the other person decides later, you know what, They, I asked them about their past, and all they did was talk about their ex the whole time, and then they decide they don't want to see you again, they don't want to go out with you, they're going to date other people, kind of a thing. Um, so just be cautious of that. Make sure that you're totally, totally done, or fake it till you make it with the next ones. How else are others seeing you? Well, others are seeing you as maybe um, a little bit afraid to commit, that, that maybe you say that, 
this is what you want, right? But then you wonder about the challenges. And so I personally am not an Aries, but I've seen myself in this situation before where it's like, okay, you know what? I want to do something new. Oh, just kidding. I don't want to date because you know what? I don't want to put in the effort and time to get to know somebody. It's a lot of work. <laughs> but generally, yes, you're um, pretty attractive during this month. Kind of like, remember how I was talking about when we had, how are we seeing ourselves? And I mentioned the empress as the kind of person who just sucks people in. They're captivating. You do have that kind of an energy this month. And it's very much without effort. So um, you don't need to go out and buy new clothes and get your hair done and, you know, show off and things like that. Um, people are just generally going to be drawn to you. So that's a really good omen for you in the month of July. Now, what do I need to avoid this month in order to try to attract in love? Okay. And so remember when we were talking about that world card as a challenge? Um, it's... It's not saying that we need to avoid change, closing one door and walking through the other. It's more that we need to embrace it. And as we do that, heal. We need to make sure um, that we're not avoiding the healing, okay? Um, we need to make sure that we're not suspicious, um, that we are not giving people the benefit of the doubt, okay? So if somebody says... Um, yeah, let, I'm going to date you exclusively, like not second guessing them or asking where they are. Not that you're particularly jealous, but um, you do have those qualities on occasion when you meet certain signs, um, especially someone with Scorpio in their chart. It's kind of like they draw that out of you. And so this would be um, something that we want to avoid. Okay, we want to focus on also the things that we desire and not so much worry about what other people might think. Okay, that's going to be very important for you. It's going to be important for you to try to see things from other people's perspectives, but not necessarily um, listening and making choices on what other people say. This is you being challenged to use your own gut instincts and your own intuition um, as you're meeting people throughout the month. Now, what is it that I need to embrace in order to increase... Um, the potential for partners to come in, to start to grow love, to attract it. What is my guidance there? And it and it's just, there must be some of you, Aries, who are saying mentally or um, actively doing this, moving on from something from the past, but emotionally you're still somehow connected. And that relationship was shit. It was totally toxic. Could have been um, verbally or emotionally abusive, it could have been codependent, and but somehow you're still stuck. You're still drawn into it. And so even though you are making the effort and you're trying to get excited to, you know, do different things, focus on your work or bringing different people in, as you're feeling alone, you might turn back to them. You could be tempted to contact them. And all it's going to do is create drama and wreak havoc on your life and your emotions. And I don't think that this is something that you necessarily want for yourself. Um, what could we do to increase our likelihood of finding love this month? And there's a few things. Now it's saying focus on what kind of a partnership you would like for the long term and not the short term. It's saying accept that sometimes things are just not fair. Sometimes people don't treat you fair. Sometimes they don't treat you right. Accept it. You don't have to forgive or forget if you don't want to. Um, but staying in the past and thinking about that repeatedly isn't really going to help you. Take it as a lesson. Move on. Be open to opportunities that um, maybe you wouldn't necessarily be into. So, for example, I have never dated a blonde. I probably wouldn't want to. It's just not my cup of tea. You know, that whole tall, dark, handsome thing um, that women talk about. That's that's more my cup of tea. But the perfect guy for me might have blonde hair. I might need to be open to that because it's more important in a, like long term. People lose their hair. It turns white. It falls out. That I would have somebody with like a, a deep connection and loving bond with. So just be open to dating different types of people than you typically do. They say be hopefully optimistic, trust in the universe, God, Allah, spirit guides, whatever it is, your um, guardian angels, um, to lead you 
the right way. And the more optimism and faith that you have, the more likely you are to draw in something. Now it's saying, when it's talking about all of these past life lessons, it's saying, you know, don't necessarily be a fool. Use your brain, use your logic, but also just extend out um, opportunities to people that we might not typically date. Now it's not saying lower your standards, right? It's just saying be open to trying something different. Okay. Now, what is working for me in the month of July? Um, for those of you who did decide to leave the past in the past to move forward, that is working for you. Um, just kind of saying, I'm not going to put more love, energy, and effort into something from the past that created a lot of imbalance in my life. I'm going to um, do the next best thing for myself, and that means moving on. That is going to work in your favor. Now, what happens if you don't decide to release that? <laughs> well, you're going to feel weak, and you still might go out and date anyway if you're emotionally connected, if you haven't cut those cords of attachment, which... Um, in the description box, there's a little link to a video I made on cutting cord of attachment if that's a problem for you. You might be excited, you might be trying to go out, but then once you get there and you meet people, you might be like, gosh, I don't want to invest in this. And that's because you've already attached to somebody else. Now, what is working against you in the month of July in general for Aries? Um, some of your communication might fall flat with others. So, you know, maybe you try to be funny and you offend them accidentally or words get misconstrued. And so I would say that um, avoiding talking by text message is going to be very, very helpful for you. You could talk over the phone. If you could do it by FaceTime or face-to-face, -face, that's going to be much better because um, text messages have a way this month for you to end up making you feel like a loser um, and saying things that you didn't mean or, you know, they're misconstrued that way. So just be cautious of that. Now, um, what is our general outcome for the month of July for a single Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay, so throughout the month of July, you might still be single, okay? Um, but it says put a lot of focus into what it is that you actually want. And that would be to avoid drama. Now, whoever this person from your past is that um, you either lied to or they lied to you, misled, that sort of a thing, you've got to see this in a new light and just totally release it. If you don't, in the month of July, you definitely will not be partnered with somebody that's long-term or sustaining. Now, if you were able to do that, what is our outcome? Okay, so what it's saying is July might not be the month where you find someone and you just hold them tight and it's love at first sight and all those things, but you'd be attracting a relationship that would be fair and balanced. Maybe um, you wouldn't feel super secure within it right away, and perhaps you meet them this month and it's not necessarily official until August or September, but that's because you have to take it slow to ensure that it's the person that you want. So to stay self-focused this month, to be super hot and attractive and drawing all of these people in is a better thing for you. They say mentally aside from thinking about what it is that you want for future relationships and then kind of emotionally leaving the bullshit from past ones behind, um, you'll be in a good position to attract that sooner than later. However, for the majority of you, um, it doesn't look like July is your month where you um, bring in that person and like you're married by August. Um, and it's not to say that's not realistic. Maybe for some of you that would be, but that would, we'd have to read that on an individual basis. Now, what is the lesson um, overall that we are learning within the month of July in regards to love for Aries? Self-love. And that would be maybe why we need to stay single in the month of July and kind of just date around. It says you realize that love of self is necessary for love of another. And that's absolutely true. We, When we're trying to attract in that balanced relationship that I talked about, it's never going to be balanced if um, we don't love ourselves first. Because A, if we don't respect ourselves, why could anybody else respect us, right? B, if we are looking to outside 
sources to make us feel loved and validated because we don't love ourselves, we do create an imbalance. We either push people away from us, um, we treat them cruel, cruelly, or um, we give too much to them and we're not getting so much back in return and then we grow resentment, contempt, all of those things. And so self-love is going to be the most important thing. So love and light, I hope you found that helpful and see you soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.